What's up, BFP? I'm here to update you guys on your programming for next week, which is a short week due to Thanksgiving falling on Thursday, which we are closed. And on Friday the 26th, the day after Thanksgiving, we're only doing an 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. session. And then on Saturday, we'll have our 7.30 and 8.30 sessions. So don't forget, all right? Um, let's get into it. So next week, starting on Monday, our big lift that day is gonna be our bench press. Uh, the kicker on that is gonna be the fourth set. So you're gonna be work ramping up in your working sets for your first three. Once you get to your fourth set, you're gonna drop the weight back to your original weight that you started with on your first working set and perform 20 reps. All right, some of y'all may be able to go unbroken. Some of y'all may have to break it up, okay? I would challenge y'all, if you're able to get it to go unbroken, make a note in your train heroic that you were able to do that. That means we can probably go a little bit heavier on your working sets, okay? And I know bench press is one of those movements where like if you add just two and a half pounds, it can make the difference. So I understand that. Uh, but if you were able to get all 20 reps pretty smoothly, then we need to reassess what you're doing for your working sets, all right? So that's something to think about. Um, as far as the other movements, pretty standard stuff we've done uh, before at BFP, so nothing crazy. And then we're going to finish that session with an air squat challenge, all right? I got this one from Coach J. It is 300 air squats, but every minute you have to perform five burpees, okay? There is going to be a time cap for this. I put 12 minutes as the time cap. So you're going to be working, all right? Um, this is something that's obviously going to get tougher as the minutes tick away. But that's going to be the challenge, all right? So good luck. I may bump that time cap up a little bit, FYI, now that I'm looking at it. But that'll be for Monday. Tuesday, we're going to do something called a fun 40. So you got six movements. Everything's going to be 40 reps or 40 calories. On this, I put on the, the top, um, we're going to be doing some double kettlebell cleans and like clean and presses. So if you have wrist wraps or sweat bands, something to protect your wrist, if you're one of those people that bash your forearms all the time when we do kettlebell cleans, which you should not be bashing them, but it happens, wear something to, to kind of protect that, okay? Um, look at the movements, nothing crazy on that. The, the double kettlebell clean and press is probably the one that a lot of y'all may have not done before, or it's been a while, but uh, you're gonna have 30 minutes to complete all that, okay? And then we're gonna finish the session with some half Turkish get-ups and some banded clamshells. Moving to Wednesday, this is the day where you gotta train hard so you can eat big the next day, all right? So we're gonna be doing some, uh, some RDLs. The focus on this is gonna be high reps, but I want you to ramp up in weight five to 10 pounds each set, okay? So we're not gonna just be slapping on tens on each side because that would be a 20 pound increase i only want you all to jump up five to ten pounds each set total okay that's going to be the challenge um you'll have some uh some lat pull downs with that with the pvc moving into so half y'all be doing that the other half we're going to be doing some accessory work uh it's going to be an amrap style pumping up the the arms and the shoulders and then the finisher that day is going to be some American kettlebell swings and a movement with the penalty box, all right? Thursday, we're closed. Hopefully y'all can still exercise on that day. So get outside, go for a run in the morning before everyone gets up, um, do a walk. I always love walking, especially after a, a dinner. That's, that fills me up if you eat dinner early. Um, so yeah, stay active that day. And we'll treat that day as a like carb loading day, all right? That's gonna be for Friday. So Friday, like I said, we're gonna we're gonna hit it hard with a barbell complex. Um, we're only doing eight and nine o'clock. Come one, come all. We'll have fun. Uh, it's gonna be some barbell movements, so we can definitely partner y'all up if we got a good amount of people at BFP. 
but we're gonna be doing a pen lay row. So you're gonna do five pen lay rows, and that's where you row from the, the floor. Then you're gonna go into three hand cleans and one front squat. So your, your goal is to do all three movements in a row and then go take a lap outside, all right? So we'll do five sets of that. And then the finisher that day, we're gonna be utilizing the bike. I put some abstract numbers in there for calories, so we can also use like the ski erg and the rower. Uh, but it's gonna be 15 calories the first round, 23 calories on the second round, and then 17 calories on the third round. And you're gonna superset that with a two-hand farmer's carry. So that is going to wrap up our Friday. Hopefully you all can go spend time with your family after that. But that's what we got. So if you got questions, let me know. Otherwise, gobble gobble.